Hello, I'm JW, and a quick video here. Just uh, replaced a hard drive in this uh, computer here. It's not mine, it uh, belongs to a customer. And uh, the hard drive is basically failing, and that's not surprising because the uh, computer in question is uh, 10 years old, uh, being assembled in 2004, and this video is being made in 2014. So uh, obviously it just failed due to old age, and therefore a new one was put in. And uh, you might be wondering why now someone has a computer that's 10 years old. Well, the answer is that it's not just a computer for using. It's part of another system of equipment. And uh, without the computer, of course, all that stuff doesn't work. And replacing the whole thing would be horrendously expensive and convenient. And therefore, putting a new hard drive in is the obvious solution. And uh, just like I show you this uh, starting up as uh, the uh, operating system inside it is not what you'd expect for a 10-year-old machine. Right, so I've just got the... Uh, screen here connected up. This is not the screen it comes with, this is just a random uh, screen I happen to have, so uh, let's just see what it does. So there you go, it's uh, Windows, but not the uh, Windows of today, of course. It's, uh, have a look in the old menu there. Yep, it's Windows 3.11 from 1993. So this machine, although it's only 10 years old from 2004, is actually running software which is more than 10 years old when the machine was actually new, so uh, over 20 years old in total. Quite well it is, it's something of a mystery, but uh, in any event, uh, there you go, that's something you don't see every day, Windows 3.11 booting up on actual hardware and is still in use in 2014.